Why does the fat, ugly bastard always gets the girl not in just anti, but anime too? This is some bullshit. Now, whether or not it was NTR, whether or not he got cucked, it's up to you. But he got over it. He still fucking confessed to a zombie. And the craziest thing is, this dude is so happy about the zombie apocalypse. Breaking the, the doll of the 9 to 5. Because that just goes to show how bad the fucking work-life balance is in Japan. The work-life culture needs to change because a zombie apocalypse just seems so much better. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Dude, he's getting nightmares about his work rather than nightmares of zombies. Isn't that insane? <laughs> this looks like his apartment, though. Oh, yeah, I don't have work anymore. I'm free. <laughs> Fuck yeah! But I have work tomorrow. What a beautiful day. <laughs> He is thriving. Electricity is still running, huh? I wonder for how long. Day drinking. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Bro, I just want to call in sick tomorrow and just get high instead. Just... <laughs> Fuck this shit, man. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. But like, now what, bro? You just gonna live like nothing has happening? And like, we don't know the source of the zombie virus, how this all happens. But there seems to be electricity and seems like some people are still, you know, doing well. Like, news station is still here. I, they're gonna get run over pretty soon, but... Internet telecommunications down. Government's not helping out. As usual, if, if any fucking uh, zombie show, right? The government, usually they take care of their own any, anytime this situation happens, starts quarantining, right? But what if we run out of beer? We need to go for some beer runs. <laughs> it's self-care, guys. It's not being degenerate, but if we're out of beer, what are we gonna do? We're out, aren't we? We need to go on a beer run. We need to fucking risk our lives to get more beer so we can day drink in peace. Oh man, we gotta go outside and do fucking be productive and go on a beer run during the day. <laughs> but there's so many zombies. He's just so nonchalant about this. It's like, man, I gotta go for a beer run. There's a bunch of zombies outside. What a pain in the ass. Like, what is this mindset? It's crazy. Other survivors. See, this is how people should be acting in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Terrified for their lives. Epic dramatic music playing in the background. <laughs> this is the normal response. <laughs> but my boy is just chilling. Bing chilling. You guys need to group up. Find weapons. Find a... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you want to come up with a beer run? Come on. Let's get some beer together. What's up? <laughs> Hello. This is the fun part of zombie shows, of like meeting other survivors, seeing what they're good at. Because usually the main antagonists in these kind of shows aren't necessarily the zombies themselves. They're more of just like a thing that gets in your way. The interaction between the other humans, the other survivors, that's what's most interesting. And the villains are always the fucking humans. It's a human on human infighting with zombies as an accessory is what usually happens in zombie series, right? Another bike, but... Cam! Another survivor? You shouldn't be yelling so loudly, man. What if there's a zombie in here? Oh, new person? Girl or guy? Who is this? Seems kind of young. Girl, ooh. Main love interest, maybe? Hello. She was probably the one on the bike, right? The other bike with the cam on it. We were singing about beer. <laughs> she looks super athletic. Look at her gear. Doesn't really seem to care. Hey. <laughs> Just talking up in beer. <laughs> She's not gonna talk, huh? Oh. Uh, okay. Um. What's up? Do you have a name? You want to come over and drink beer? Okay, bye. Okay, she got different priorities. <laughs> She's taking this a lot more serious than us, huh? You want to, like, hang out? Go on a date? <laughs> come over for some beer? Is she deaf? Did she just not give up? Alright, she just doesn't give a fuck about us. <laughs> yes. 
Well, okay, she takes this so fucking serious, serious right? She's got like a cam to survey, like, um, be on guard for everything. She's getting a lot of different, like, water to, like, make sure she's fine. But, like, we're just fucking around getting beer. <laughs> she's right, though. She is absolutely right, though. We are not treating this seriously at all. Oof. Rejected. You sure? You're gonna f How are you gonna fight this, bro? Oh? Wait. What? How does she know? Maybe all planned. Allies, maybe? That was sick. I thought she was gonna fucking throw us to the ground. <laughs> maybe this is where we meet. Oh. Hello. You, you, you like being on top? Yeah? Uh, okay, bye. I like her whole entire design, though. Very athletic. I wonder what he's thinking, like, damn, that was sick. <laughs> Come back here. Oh man, our bike is busted. But oh, she's gone. Bye. This truck wasn't allies then. She just happened to see what was happening because of her cam. Okay, okay. Don't forget the beer, though. Thank you, cameraman. What a fucking angle. Man, you could argue those leggings are blocking it, but I think that hiding things is better. The more for the imagination, the better it is. Because if you just see it sometimes, you're just like... <laughs> Bro's just gonna run with the cart of beers now? Oh, moped. Lucky. The key's still in it too. So lucky. What you should be doing is siphoning all the fuel and like putting it into different, um, you know, storage. Because it's important, man. A car. A motorcycle. Is it a sick motorcycle? Oh, let's fucking go. Dude, this is way too easy, man. There's just vehicles everywhere. Oh, careful. Oh. Okay. Bro, are you sure this is your first time riding a motorcycle? What a productive day. That's right. We work so hard. We need to treat ourselves. I wonder on the way up, you know, the other two survivors? Like, are they fine or are they... Uh-oh. Maybe they're already turned to zombies. Ah, yeah, they're done. Well, we don't know for sure, but it looks pretty bad. Ugh. I hope they survived. Getting a little bit of, you know... Actually, like, he's like, this is actually real. You know, like, we can't be fucking around. He's having just fun so far, but seeing shit like that... To people he just met, maybe it'll make him think differently. But I don't know where this anime is going because the the tr the the gimmick seems to be like, oh, he's just super casual about this because no work, right? Fuck it, zombie apocalypse. I don't care. But is it gonna continue like this, or is he gonna change his mindset and be take this shit more seriously? Go home and spend time with my parents. That's a good one. But I hope they're still alive. If they're dead. Meet the woman of my dreams. We might have done that. We might have, you know, during our beer run. Uh, maybe she's out of our league, but so was the other girl last episode. Fuck it. Go for it. 100 things I want to do before becoming a zombie. A bucket list. Whoa, it's a back to widescreen view. Why? The girl. Damn, she just doing cardio? <laughs> <laughs> the dog picture is just its butt. Very cute. Man. We just did a little bit of cleaning and started day drinking. She fucking gets up at 6am to do cardio to maintain, you know, her, her, her ability to, like, have stamina and shit. Damn, look at all these fucking supplements, too. She's taking this so seriously. Hello? Hello? And she can speak English. Yeah, these are the fucking things you should be checking up on. She's even thinking about like mental, mental like stability. It's really interesting because her list right there was 100 things to do to prevent like becoming a zombie or something. But the main character was like 100 things to do before becoming a zombie. And who's this guy? I think it's just a new character that we haven't met yet. Huh? 
Uh-oh. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> I thought it was a new character. Like I was getting hyped for a second. <laughs> what a twisted fucking movie. That's how the movie ends? This seems like a lot of escape. It's like, there's gotta be like irregular zombies too. Like, we're, th we're treating this like Attack on Titan, you know? Like normal zombies and there's like irregular zombies. So smart. He's actually watching movies to infer different references for zombies. Damn. How many zombie films have you seen? But you need to also gather allies. Least risky. What if it's Tendo's? Because Tendo's place doesn't seem to be having zombies like knocking on his door, right? Wait, is this her perspective before meeting Tendo? I think so? Because this is the same convenience store she went to before it got busted. No, you can't have sweets like that. Come on. No, that's bad for you. You gotta be in peak performance. <laughs> you can't have sweets. <laughs> Does she take it this so fucking seriously? Bro, I be pigging out at all this different shit. Mmm, it is her perspective before. <laughs> In the beer song. <laughs> Hello. And then she just ignores us. I wonder what she's thinking. Yeah? Ah, uh, that's what she was thinking about while just ignoring us. I thought she was dead ass just giving us a cold look and just ignoring, but no. She had different set of things to think about. Yeah, so analytical. He's the main character, I'm sorry. He's got infinite plot armor. He can do the dumbest shit like this and he'll live. I'm sorry. You have to try this hard, but he's built different. And in fact, you're gonna save his ass from doing dumb shit in a couple minutes. Why? Main character! Yeah, that truck right there. It's crazy that she was doing all this different risk analysis, like, while being silent. I thought she was just giving us the cold look, man. It's perfect. Yep. Maybe this is miscalculated. Him trying to save her, right? This is out of the calculations. Uh-huh. Boom. That was so sick. And then she gets on top of him. Oh, <laughs> this has to be the main love interest. She's acting all cool and cold, but I bet Tendo can somehow reach her. All part of the plan, baby. <laughs> Almost like this is a zombie show, huh? Weird trope. Man, she's just doing film study, just watching so many different zombie movies to get inspiration from. This is hilarious. Yeah, you should have got that, but she got to minimize sugar intake. Come on, treat yourself a little. You're going to probably die soon. Gotta live a little. That's a very interesting parallel of how she lives versus how he lives, huh? That new girl and Tendo, they're basically polar opposites of each other. Even the diary, 100 things to do before I become a zombie. 100 things to do before, 100 things to do to avoid becoming a zombie. He just takes this shit so casually, day drinking on beer, right? He doesn't care at all while she's just so serious, so analytical, risk assessment, everything, right? But I think they can both learn from each other because Tendo, I get it. This is a gimmick of him thinking, no, it's like freedom, no more work. I can do whatever I want. However, he needs to take this shit seriously if he's going to survive, right? I think even when climbing up and seeing the couple's apartment being all ruined, I think that was like a little bit of a reality check. And same for the girl. She's taking this shit too seriously, right? It's already the apocalypse. Like, you're probably going to die sooner or later. But why not enjoy yourself from here and there? So both sides are going to learn from each other and just, I don't know, hopefully there's a ship forming. We'll see how that goes. The best thing about these zombie shows are the different survivors. It's a very character-driven series, right? We're going to meet different characters that's so much better at different skill sets, but we're also going to meet different villains because, again, zombies are not the main enemy here. They're just a tool. The human on human infighting is what causes the most drama in these zombie shows. So we got to be careful on who we trust and not. The government, what are they up to? We'll find out soon enough. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.